Okay guys, we're on to the second week of building our Google site or our Google website. Now, for those of you who came to the party late or for those who just want to refresh, we have to get to the Google Sites app, just like our Gmail or whatever. I'm once again in Gmail. So I'm going to go up to my nine pins, click on my nine pins and find sites. Once you've opened sites, you need to go to the bottom down here, new Google sites and click new Google sites, bottom left. Now, once you get to new Google sites, you will see, you should see your site. Here is a site I've been working on. All these other sites are sites that you have shared with me so I can see that you have done your work. Now, having said that, there are a lot of people who have not shared their site with me, which was in your on the website last week. If you look down to the bottom of the page, and a lot of you aren't doing that, look right down to the bottom of the lesson and you can see how to share the site. Now, I already have this open. When you want to open your site, you just click it. This is Sienna Lehman's here. Tom Reinhards, Aaron Rosewoods, and so forth. When you've opened it, here's my site that I've been working on. And this is the site you actually come to when you're doing this lesson. What you're looking at is the website that I'm building here. You need to come up to this little man at the top with the cross. Whenever you see the cross, you know it's a share icon. And you must share your site with me. It says share with others when I hover over it. So you click that and you put in my address and you send send. Now my address is Espenchide. You'll see a whole lot of other addresses that I have in my, my self-populating list. But the one you're looking for is this Espenchide.steven.s. Oh, sorry, I'm wrong there. That is not the one. And that's the mistake some people made last week. Espenchide.steven s at bitten ps because that's our domain name for these websites the google domain so you must make sure it says my name and bitten ps .au. please you must share your site with me to make sure that i can see you're doing the work all right so what are we actually doing this week guys once you've shared your site, once you've actually given your site a name and you've shared it with me, <clears throat> then you're ready to start this week's. Now your task, this week's work. So your task last week was to create a header. I'll open here, Fishing with Tom. Tom Reinhardt site in grade three, four. Now time, Tom has created a header. He's done exactly what I've asked him to do. He's gone here, changed image. He's found an image of fish and his website, hopefully he's done some planning, is fishing with Tom. He's put a name in here. I asked you to put a logo if you could develop a logo. And a couple of you have managed to put a bit of artwork in here, add logo, and you can upload a logo. You could have created that in GIMP or whatever. The favicon is what appears like here on my bitten site. Here, I've got a favicon. I've got the bitten logo on the tab when you search the site. Okay, I'm just going to close Tom's site. Or actually, I'm going to go back to where I was here. And I'm going to have a look, or we're going to have a look back at my page. Now, the first page that you're putting your banner is called your home page or your landing page. And this is a page that you want to make fairly interesting and get some broad general information about your website. So two things we're going to work on today. One is putting some information in your landing site, the, sorry, your landing page, your home page. You can see it says home here. And then you're going to start planning your pages, what you're putting on your pages. Now, your landing page usually is something that will create interest and give you a bit of general information. So my landing page, and if you are on this, on this doing the lesson, you could go to the top menu and go to the home landing page. I've created Welcome to Bitten Primary Schools Remote Learning Portal. I've told you a bit about what we're trying to do with this website. 
which is a good introduction. And then I've set, given uh, a video introduction from Mrs. Dolan. And then I've started to create an area for timetables, assemblies, welfare. And then I've created what I've called the learning community. So prep to one, three to four, five to six. Um, and the specialists. Now, all of these are just shortcuts to the menu at the top here. So I've just done it a different way. I've put the links as well. But all these are just general things about what the website is about. I don't want to be too specific on the front page. I want to give general information here. You can see I've put a video of Mrs. Dolan, and this is from the first week. So this is out of date. I haven't been feeding this up. I've just been keeping um, the specialist pages in check. Now, how do you put all this stuff together? There's three main areas over on the right. It's insert pages and themes. We're not even going to look at themes at the moment. We're not going to look at pages just yet. Just in a minute, we're going to go to insert. And this is where I've created all of this. You've got insert text boxes, insert images, embed files or hyperlinks, and get things from Drive that you might have saved on Drive. You've got different layouts that they give you, and you can might be able to see here, this layout is basically this. So all I've gone, and this will occur if I go down to the bottom of the page because it sticks it at the bottom of the page, and I click this layout, I will get that layout here. I can go over to the left here of this layout and I can change colors. I can copy it or I can delete it if I don't want it anymore. And I can also move it up and down the page to go in different sections. I can type in the text areas. I can add in the plus here an image, upload a file. I can put a YouTube clip, which you can see is what I've done up here. Sorry. Uh, I can put a calendar, I can put a map, all different things I could insert here. I can also double click in this section and you'll see this little wheel comes up and it allows me to add more text in here or put more files in here. For example, each week I simply click on this box, delete the box, double click and put a new YouTube link in here and go in bed and I'm away. Now I'm going to delete this section now on the bin because I don't want it. I can also, it's pretty easy, I can copy sections. If I wanted to duplicate that on another page or even on the same page, I can click this whole section and go copy and I can go down the bottom and I can paste. Well, that worked pretty well, didn't it? I'll take another section, copy, Try again. It is, it's down the bottom. So you can copy and paste the sections as well. So today, what I want you to do on your front page is have a go at this insert and try and put some things in. You've got various other things down here like table of contents, collapsible test, buttons, and I'll show you on another page my buttons, how I've used that. On other pages, you can put a dock in. Some of you who have done the fitness stuff, I've put docks in with like your backyard orienteering, that sort of thing. And my dock was in my drive. I have to make sure you've got access to that dock, but really easy to put in. So your, this week's task is to plan out your front page. Now, I'm going to show you someone's front page. Someone's already started doing their front page, Sienna Lehman. And Sienna's done a fantastic job. I'll just wait a sec while this loads. And Sienna's page, she decided, was about wolves. And she's got various pictures of wolves here on her front page. Oh, sorry, I'm not on her front page. I'll have to go to her menu here. This is a front page. Sorry about that, Leanne, um, Sienna. Wolves are amazing, majestic creatures found in all different places and lots of different types. And she's put many different types. Now, what I would be suggesting to Sienna, this is too much specific information too early in her web page. She needs to make it general as an introduction to the page. 
So I personally would be putting in things in here about what are wolves? What's the definition of a wolf? Maybe where they're found. Maybe who their predators are. Some specific, uh, sorry, some general information. And I'd probably be breaking this up a bit. There's lots of color and lots of things all in the one spot. So if you go back to my site, there's a bit more layout, a bit more space, a bit more openness. You don't want to hit everyone in the face when they land on your page with too much information because I'll end up going, oh, too much here. What we want to do with this specific information is we want to start making a menu. And this is the second part of your job today is you've got a plan how you're going to distribute this information on your website and you can make lots and lots, as many pages as you'd like for your website. I'm going to go back to mine and you'll see a menu at the top here. And all of these are different pages. Now, what I did to start with, I've got a piece of paper and I've just scanned this piece of paper and I did a plan. This looks pretty scratchy, but this is my basic plan. And everyone does a plan for a website. You can't just do it without planning. What information are you going to have on different pages? So you can see I've put in a box home. That was my landing page. That's what we're going to, that's what we were looking at before. And then I've done a plan. I'm going to distribute my information for grades prep to one, F to one, one to two, three to four, five to six. There are going to be different pages. And then I'm going to have the specialists. That's myself, Miss Bacon and Mr. Lewis. So under the specialists, we have PE, STEM, Art, Music, Auslan. So if I went to the specialists, there would be one, two, three, four, five separate pages. That's called a sub page. The sub PE is a sub page of specialists. STEM is a sub page of specialists. But then under PE, I need my classes just like I had up here because we got work the other way around. So I've got F to one, one to two, three to four, five to six, four different pages for PE. Now, I haven't done it down here, but there'd be four different pages of STEM, four for art, four for music, four for Auslan. If I go back up to the top, your grade teachers would want a page for writing and maths and inquiry. Now, your teachers haven't been using this, but the specialists, especially myself, have been using this page, that, this, sorry, website that I have built. And if you do your lesson, you can see the pages of the website. For example, here is exactly what I did, writing, maths, and I put in reading, three, four, five, six, and it won't fit at the top, so you have an, another separate drop-down, specialists, PE. Now I click on that, you'll see all those areas that I made before. Where do I make these? Where do I make these pages after I've done my plan? I don't go to insert, I come over here to the right to pages, and I use the cross down here to create a new page, and I give the page its name. Okay, now I have just made a page untitled. I don't want that page, I was just showing you. So I can go to the right here and I can go delete, delete that page. When you wanna make pages under something, so I wanted to make pages under home, I can collapse these with the arrows. You can go there and you can say, oh, sorry, I'm gonna to have to delete that again in a sec. If I went back to, sorry, PE, I can go to this here and go add a sub page. And that's where I've got these under here. So if you wanna make pages coming off an area, you've got to click to the original one you made and then go to the right, add a sub page. And that's what I have there. So today you're going to do your landing page and you're going to plan your pages and then you're going to start creating your pages over here using the plus. And if you've made a menu item, you want to make sub pages, you go to the right to make your sub pages under that. So I have PE, so we've got specialist learning community and the sub pages are PE, STEM, Art, Music, Auslan. And then we have sub pages of this. So they're really a sub sub page here. F1, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all you have to do this week.
Now, here's a really quick clue. If you want to look at what you've done, what they really look like, you can go to this button up here, which is a preview button. You can say, okay, this is not published. No one can see this yet because we're still working on it. But you can have a look what it would really look like by going to that preview button and you can see your menus and how they work and you can even go to those menus. So I could go PE, grade five to six, and it would show me what it looks like. And these are the pages that I've made for you in reality that you look at each week. Yeah. Where has my, where has my actual page gone? You can go back to your back arrow to get to that, to your, to your working page, or you can come back down to here and go cross and it'll take you back to where you work. So use your back arrow or the cross here because that was just a preview. Okay. Remember, any questions you have, you can get me on a Meet, a Google Meet. I've had no one rock up to the Google Meet, but if I go back once again to my site, so if I went, for example, STEM, which we're in today, today and I went grades either one, three, four, or five to six, or actually to the front STEM page, you can see a timetable when you can talk to me. P or STEM, Tuesday at 9 o'clock and any other day at 2.15 for an hour. You can jump on there and use the nickname SB1. There it is there to talk to me. So if you need things clarified, jump on a Google Meet. You can go to that, click on the website, or you can go to your nine pins. You know how to use Google Meet most of you. Maybe you three fours don't. Just click on Google Meet. Do you want to start a meeting and type in SB1 at those times? Go continue and I should be there unless I've forgotten. And then you can uh, send me an email and get into me. All right, guys, there's a fair bit there. So this week, you are continuing with the Google site. I want to see a nice front landing page or playing around with it at least, getting some stuff together on it, planning your menu and start making pages. So you're using insert to make your page, pages to make your menu. Good luck, guys, and we will catch you next week.